Hey guys, John and Neeson here, and today we're going to talk about what I feed my guide dog. Neeson's just munching away on his dinner here. So I feed Neeson Royal Cannon Adult Labrador Formula. This is the bag it comes in for people who can see. Um, I'm not going to go into details when it comes to the ingredients and all that jazz because it's pretty complicated if you don't know what you're what you're talking about and I I don't want to spark a debate because people are very particular when it comes to their dog food and what they feed their dog so I'm just gonna tell you guys what I feed him and why I feed him what I feed him so yeah adult Labrador retriever formula um, I've been feeding my dogs this formula for 20 years and I've had great success with it, uh, so I've stuck with it. Is it the most expensive dog food? No. Is it the cheapest? No. It's in the middle. Um, it, it is a, uh, a good quality dog food. Um, all my dogs have been Labrador Retrievers, so I've always had them on the Labrador specific formula. So Royal Cannon makes their Labrador formula. Um, they have a formula for a lot of different breeds, uh, breed specific formula. So. With a Labrador, because they gain weight so easily, um, the food Neeson's on um, has a higher protein to fat ratio. So the protein helps to maintain the muscle mass that he has, which honestly isn't that much because he's a small dog. Um, and the fat ratio and the fat content is low. So it, um, it just helps to keep his weight down. Now that said, no matter what you feed your dog, if you overfeed them, they're gonna put weight on. So it's still important for me to not overfeed him. Um, and I'll make a video sometime. I actually have one, but I'm gonna update it on what to look for to tell if your dog is overweight or not. Um, so I actually have a kibble right here. So one of the reasons why I love this dog food is the shape of the kibble. I don't know. <laughs> Sit. Stay. I'll give it to you in a second. So the kibbles are like little donuts, like this. Sit. So they're bigger than the average kibble. Um, this just helps to slow down the rate that your dog eats. So Labradors are pigs. They will hoover their food. So this just makes sure, um, this helps make sure. So it's a larger kibble, round with a little hole in the middle. So it's like a donut. Just make sure, it just helps to slow the dog down. Here you go. Now, um, I will touch on the ingredient list a little bit because I feel like this is important. So the main ingredient, <clears throat> so when a, an ingredient list is printed on a label of a dog food bag, it is done so in order of the heaviest to the lightest. So you'll always see a meat or a meal product at the top of the list. So with Raw Cannon's Labrador formula, uh, chicken meal is the main ingredient. Now, some people are very particular when it comes to meat versus meal. Meat is meat. Meal is the meat after it's been rendered. So after it's been dried. Okay. So um, what people don't realize though, and I know this because I took a class on animal nutrition, is before ingredients are actually put together and used to create your dog's food, they are weighed. So they're weighed before any rendering, so any drying out, any heating, any anything is done. So <clears throat> meat is heavy. It's got a lot of water weight. There's blood in there too. Um, when you dry that out, <clears throat> uh, it loses a lot of its weight, a lot of its mass, and it, it appears um, less than what it actually uh, used to be before it was rendered. So. As I said, so uh, um, ingredients in dog food are weighed before they're rendered. So if you see a dog food that has meat as its top ingredient, that meat is measured before it has been rendered. So after it's been rendered, what you're actually getting is not what the label says you're getting. And that's just a little marketing ploy that dog food manufacturers make that they do to, to, to just help promote their dog food. So just because a, um, <clears throat> a dog food has meal as its main ingredient, it does not mean that it's a bad dog food. Um, the other thing I like about Neeson's food is it has a lot of 
um, fibrous content. So there's corn and there's rice in there as well. Now, again, I don't want to get too into this because people, I don't want to spark a debate on my channel, but labs have lazy gut. So their intestines don't operate as, as efficiently as some other dog breeds. So as we know, fiber helps to push things through. So I'm perfectly fine with giving my dog a fibrous diet. Hi, mister. Um, yeah, so the cost, um, I live in Canada, uh, so I can't speak for you guys in the US, but this is a 30, 30 pound bag. Um, it's a hundred bucks Canadian. Um, so, um, I'm gonna say that's like 76, 77 dollars US. Um, this bag will last Neeson and I, well Neeson, because he's the only one who eats it. <laughs> About six weeks. Neeson does not eat a lot compared to the other dogs I've had. He's the smallest dog. He's 60 pounds, give or take. Um, so I'll feed him breakfast and dinner and he'll get some treats, but his treats are just kibble from this bag. So yeah, about six weeks. Um, and yeah, this food has worked really well for us. Um, big fan of raw cannon. Um, so if you're looking for a different uh, food for your dog if you want to change it up I recommend these guys um, I've got nothing bad to say about them my dogs have all all done very well on this food uh, and again they do have um, a lot of different breed formulas and yes this is not a plug for Royal Cannon they have not sponsored me in any way in this video this is just a satisfied customer well he's the customer I'm the customer's owner <laughs> Uh, giving a review. So hope that was helpful. Uh, questions, comments, leave uh, down below and uh, see you next time. Cheers.